Hi everybody, it's Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. I'm here with my second card for the May 24 kit called The Best There Is. And I'm going to show you this card right here. Let me get that out of the way. Here's the card we're going to make. The kit contents we'll use will be two of the ferny things and the rest of the envelope that we used in the last card. I had a piece left over that worked for this here. And we're going to use a four and a quarter by 11 piece of the beige, a five and a quarter by four inch, you need two of those in misty moonlight and then a three and three quarters by five piece of beige. And three squares, one and a half inch squares. I have Misty Moonlight, Wild Wheat, and Pool Party. And then a one and three eighths inch beige square. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a corner rounder of some sort that you have laying around and we're going to trim two of the opposite corners on all of the squares and this is a really old trimmer I found in some stuff my mom had for my yard sale I actually had my initials on it so I must have given it to her at one time so it came full circle. All right, so then I'm going to take these three, they're not squares anymore, but we're going to take these three and I'm going to run them through that bark embossing folder. If you don't have an embossing folder, a woodsy kind, the bark or the trees or anything, just leave them as is. But I'm going to go run these through my um, embossing and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got those embossed. Let's start building up our card here. I'm gonna, you can score this at five and a half or fold it in half and then burnish real good. I always like to make sure I got it folded straight. Then I have one of those pieces of Misty Moonlight that we're going to go ahead and glue on to the front. Get my that little rubber thing out of the way. It always gets in my way. The cap, I guess. I'm just, just going to glue that on the front. Make sure we've got a nice even border all the way around. Okay, then we're going to go ahead. This piece sh should be the um, three and three. Well, it's three and seven eighths. I only want a little one eighth inch border. So it's three and seven eighths by five and one eighth inch um, piece of the envelope. Now, if you used yours up from card number one for something else, go ahead and another one or if you have the wood grain background stamp go ahead and stamp yourself a background wood background or some other type of um, wood paper that would be awesome just grab those so now I've got our um, little squares that we rounded the corners of and we're gonna put those on the front like so like this. I'm just going to leave a little space between the two up and or the up and down. Don't have to overthink it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the um, corners. I'm going to just glue them together so that I got a place to start with so that I can get the placement good and uh, 
move forward from there. So that's in about the same on each one. So we've got them glued together. I'm going to flip them over and then I'm going to just um, load it with some dimensionals. Pop it up on the front. How many ever you like. I got the little tiny ones here. Don't go with that many. I'm going to peel the backs off. Like that. And then I'm just going to kind of center it on there somewhat. I wanted a, um, I thought I wanted it a little bit higher up. Let me see before I push it all the way down because I want this guy to. I guess that looks pretty good. I'm going to stick it there. And then I'm going to put some glue on the back. Just kind of give it a little eyeball of where you want to put it. Nothing strategic there. And then the second one, I want, I'm going to offset it just a little because um, I want to give a little bit of separation between the two colors of the fronds, ferns, whatever they are, leaves, leaves. And then I've got this beige one left over, and we're going to just put it right over the top. And I'm using, um, the Father's Day was too big, and I need Father's Day cards right now, so I'm... Um, making them all Father's Day. So I want to do Adventurous Sky, and I'm using um, Happy Happiest Father's Day in um, Misty Moonlight. I'm going to put the point up. Let's see if I can hover in there good enough. Nope, let's flip it over point up. Let's see if we can get a little more ink on that. It looks pretty. Well, we're going to go with that one. And then we're going to put a little bit of ink on the back. Or glue, sorry. In the center. And we're going to glue that right over the top. Like that. And then on the inside, this card flips up. I just wanted to show you that just depending which way you cut it in half, your cards can open up or open out. And it gives it kind of a different look, just an easy way of giving it a different look. So then on the inside of this one, we're going to use the... Um, stamp from the set. You're the best there is. Ink that up real good. Put that inside there. We're going to glue that to the Misty Moonlight. And then we're going to glue the Misty Moonlight onto the inside. And the only reason I'm putting all this paper on the inside is um, I just wanted it to have a little something to make it look a little nicer. I guess I could have stamped on the inside, um, but I'm just so used to seeing layers when you um, put a white layer and stuff on the inside. And this beige paper just told me that it needed a little color on the inside and I was going to use pool party but I didn't think that 
like the flow was there. So there we are. Happy Father's Day. And then we'll put a little bit of our name on the back. And we are all set with the second card for this kit for me.